Hi everybody, it's Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. I am here today with a short haul for you. Some spring and Easter decor items I have recently purchased at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and a few items I found at our local dollar store. I've been noticing lately that they've been having some items that used to be in the Target dollar spot, so I was really excited to find some of those things to share with you. So before we get into the haul, if you are here for the first time, welcome to my channel. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Mostly I do home decor DIY videos using items from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, sometimes Michaels and Hobby Lobby, things that are fairly easy to find or to find substitutes for. So please consider subscribing if you have not. Also, hit that bell notification so YouTube will inform you each time I upload a new video. If you enjoy haul videos from dollar stores, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. When it reaches 500 likes, I will do another haul video for you. So let's get into the haul. Let me start with some items I found at Dollar Tree for Easter. So I was at one of my Dollar Trees and finally found these large tags. They're about, I don't know, 12, 14 inches tall. I really like the scallop edging at the top. There were two different styles. This one says, follow the bunny. He has chocolate with a cute little pom-pom tail. And then this one says, this chick is ready for Easter. Now, I don't really do a whole lot of chicks and bunnies personally decorating for Easter, but I really liked the size and shape of these. So I will definitely be using them, probably um, taking off the glitter and painting over the front so that the back is still just the unfinished um, plain brown color. So I have two of those. I was really excited to find these mostly because of the size and the thickness of these. They are, I think, more solid than, sometimes there's like a cardboard texture. These are definitely more of a pressed particle board. Um, they're all the same, there was another style, but I will most likely be removing the feet and the raffia bow. And I'm envisioning putting all four of these together side by side and making one large two foot by two foot square sign. So if you have any ideas, I have a few of my own, but if you have any ideas for a large sign for spring um, or Easter, let me know in the comments below, but stay tuned for that. I also, you have seen me, well, in my last video was a thrift store spring farmhouse decor. I did use the uh, Welcome and Spring from this Metal Word pack. It also comes with Bunny. And then there is another pack. There are two different packs for Easter. This one is Easter, Happy, and Blessings. Happy Easter Blessings. So I'm sure I'll be using these at least one more time in my Spring and Easter DIYs for this year. I went ahead and got one pack of the Color Your Own ornaments that are egg shaped and one pack of the chicks or birds. I'm thinking I'm gonna use these to make a garland for my mantle for spring, so stay tuned for that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these bunnies yet, but they were super cute. Um, I got a set of the boys and a set of the girls. So again, stay tuned to see what I end up doing with those. All right, a um, couple other things. Oh. These are just some of the straw, re or it says wood blend wreath. It's a 12 inch diameter. If you saw my video of my Valentine decor tour of my house, you saw my two white shutters in the family room and I had hung the Argyle Valentine wreath on either one. So I'm going to make something for spring so I can change those out seasonally. Um, so I got two of these and then also some floral that I found at Dollar General. Just I think they had just put it out the day that I went and saw this. Um, it looks kind of like succulent. It's got a light green and then yellow tips. They also had some that were a little bit darker green with the purple, but I, I already have quite a bit of purple for spring, so I wanted to bring in another color. And I'm thinking I'm going to use those and these two large eucalyptus bunches I got at Walmart. These were $2 a piece. They're not the really shiny 
green. They have like that, I don't know, they look fuzzy, but they don't feel fuzzy, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, one more thing from Dollar Tree. I, the, there is one larger Dollar Tree that is about 30 minutes away that I will go to every couple weeks on the weekend to see what new things I can find. I've really been looking for those small wooden crates that has like the slats. I keep seeing them on YouTube everywhere. I have not been able to find them. I know that this Dollar Tree carries them when they have them in stock because there's a spot for them on the shelf. But I was tired of waiting so I decided to get two of these wood trays that I'm going to use instead um, in place of those for the DIY that I have in mind. All right, this birdhouse actually I think was clearance at Michael's, but you can get small birdhouses this size all over the place. Um, I did do a DIY with birdhouses last spring. Um, all my spring farmhouse decor DIYs are in a playlist that I will link in the description box and also at the end of this video. But um, I have three of these that I'm probably going to do some sort of little trio with. I'm just not exactly sure yet what I will do. All right, now I'm moving on to our local dollar store. A few things that I found. These look like chocolate bunnies, but they're called fill your own bunny. So they're two halves. So with two bunnies, I have four halves. Not sure how I'm going to use them, but they probably will not stay brown. They will probably be painted white, light gray, some soft pastel color for some Easter decor. And if you've watched any of my DIYs, you know I usually each season like to do something with one of these window cling stickers. I did a fall one, a Christmas one, and I found this was the, my favorite one for Easter. I like the colors um, and the font. I think it's really pretty. So most likely you will be seeing that very soon in an Easter DIY. All right, these last three items were from my local dollar store, but they were originally from Target. So. This one, well, there's not a tag on that one. This one is the Spritz brand, which I think is like their party, their party stuff. It's not the Target dollar spot. It says that this tree was originally $12, and it's got like wires in it, so you can kind of bend them out how you want. I'm not exactly thrilled with the colors, so I'm probably going to make it a little more look like a real tree. Uh, maybe hang carrots from it, Easter eggs something but it has a really nice thick wooden base and I was just really happy to find these at for a dollar a piece so I got two of those this was a Target dollar spot item I believe they were three dollars originally yep three dollars hanging bunny decor it's that really thick again pressed particle board just a simple bunny shape with a pom-pom tail most likely um, I will paint over I'm thinking maybe like a, a long sign this way, one bunny on this end and one bunny on this end. So we'll see what happens with those. All right, and the last thing, also originally from Target Dollar Spot, are these really thick wood egg shapes. They were $3. And these are nice because they have the etched chevron um, in there, so that'll make it kind of easier to, to paint with that shape. So these not sure I'm thinking maybe a door a door hanger so we'll just have to see you could always paint just on the plain side as well so whichever side you want <sighs> all right guys that was the end of that haul I actually had to film it three times because long story my camera was being silly but um, I hope you enjoyed that haul subscribe like comment and I'll see you guys next time bye